Congratulations, we are very pleased to see you, sir. And you want to make an interview for Al Watan newspaper. That's very nice for us. أنا سعيد جدا بهذا الفرصة لنتحدث مع بعض عن العلاقات الثنائية بين بحرين والمملكة المتحدة وأيضا من أن نتحدث مع بعض عن التطورات الإقليمية ودولية. أهلا وسهلا. تفضل. I think uh, relations between our two kingdoms are in really strong uh, state. Uh, we've got um, obviously 200 years of history to build on, but there are so many uh, positive um, new developments um, as we work together, um, as we come out of uh, the COVID period and build economic collaboration between uh, our two kingdoms, build uh, collaboration government to government and work together on the shared challenges uh, of regional security and um, how we face up to international events. So I think things are in a really uh, positive state. Uh, we have um, reviewed our relationship together with our Bahraini partners recently in a joint working group and we concluded that we wanted to work even more intensely together um, on uh, these shared challenges and the shared opportunities to build uh, the economies, the society of, of the future that we want. So I think that um, freedom of religion and belief is really one of uh, Bahrain's strongest values. Uh, it's something that's clearly um, deeply embedded here uh, and we see uh, all the different faiths um, are able to uh, practice their religions here and operate uh, openly and, uh, and enjoy being here in Bahrain. Uh, Bahrain took part recently in the uh, Freedom of Religion and Belief Conference we hosted in London and uh, joined uh, many of the uh, declarations to take work, work forward in new areas. Um, I know it is something that people here uh, feel uh, most deeply and it's quite natural, it seems to me, in Bahrain for people of different um, beliefs to work alongside and, um, and get along and um, enjoy that diversity of thought uh, that, uh, that, that, that that brings. Speak about uh, how many uh, companies of the UK are operations in Bahrain and uh, the revivers, uh, how many uh, Bahraini companies uh, work in UK? Well, it's, it's always hard to get um, precise figures because uh, things are growing between us uh, and we're seeing uh, more companies set up in a variety of fields. Um, a lot of the new areas of um, uh, renewable technologies, uh, renewable energies, uh, new um, uh, developments in education, in science collaboration uh, are, are leading to, uh, to new um, uh, joint ventures together. Um, in addition to the existing strengths in financial services and other services that, uh, uh, that, that dominate a lot of the exchanges between us. But I think we have, um, we, know of, uh, we know of over 500 British companies that are represented here, uh, one way or the other. Some have a direct presence, some work regionally, some have had long-standing relationships with uh, their Bahraini representatives for their goods and services. And that, that figure continues to grow. Um, and I think we're also seeing um, activity in the other direction. When we look at um, the trade figures, for example, and again, it's difficult to get uh, exactly up-to-date figures, but we know that they've been growing very strongly in the last 12 months, and uh, we believe that they're now stronger than they were uh, at the end of 2019, before the pandemic. Um, the figure we had at that stage was 1.5 billion um, sterling in two-way exchanges, trade and um, goods and services in both directions. Um, that uh, and uh, and that's that balance in the relationship, in the economic relationship, is really important for its sustainability in the long term. Uh, so we know that, and our Bahraini um, counterparts tell us that things have rebounded beyond that end of 2019 figure. So I think the future is very bright uh, to grow even more together. So I think it's, uh, it's a very important issue and one we've discussed uh, with uh, the, uh, the authorities here uh, because it clearly affects uh, everybody. The, um, uh, the Russian invasion uh, of Ukraine has created 
um, a huge problem of food security and also problems of uh, energy supply uh, and energy pricing in the world. And uh, the, that has um, really affected quite dramatically the poorest countries in the world. Uh, countries, some in this region, like Yemen, like uh, Syria, uh, are suffering uh, additionally because of the, uh, the shortage of, of grains and oils and other, other things that were coming out of that part of the world. Uh, but also countries in um, the Horn of Africa and East Africa, um, they are really uh, facing uh, the most severe uh, crisis uh, in a generation in terms of food security. So we uh, welcomed the, uh, the agreement that was reached uh, in July, uh, brokered by Turkey and the United Nations. Uh, that's a positive step forward. Uh, that has started to release some uh, Ukrainian exports, um, including to this region. Lebanon got the first shipment of, of grain, um, and there have been um, over uh, 10 shipments since. But there are 20 million tons uh, of uh, exports blocked in, uh, in Ukraine, and so this needs really to be opened up and, and, and widened. Uh, so it's a good start, uh, and thankfully so far the agreement has held uh, but we shouldn't be in this situation because this is created by the Russian aggression. If they had not blockaded the ports, uh, sh destroyed some of the ports on the Black Sea, um, then we wouldn't have this restriction. Um, but it reminds us that we are all interconnected. Uh, the world uh, depends uh, on um, peaceful coexistence, uh, on uh, positive collaboration, and it is terribly disrupted by, by by war, this war of aggression by Russia. Uh, we wanted to speak about the cooperation between Bahrain and the UK uh, that related to the security of Navy in the region of uh, Arabian Gulf. Yeah. So it's one of the, uh, the bedrocks of our relationship. Uh, the, uh, it's one of the first things that uh, led to the British presence in the Gulf was the, uh, the, 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 the need for the Royal Navy to help ensure freedom of navigation um, and uh, free exchanges, commercial exchanges, uh, in, uh, back in the 19th century. Um, and it, uh, it remains important today. Uh, I have been uh, several times down to the, the Naval Support Facility and our maritime headquarters there uh, in Jouffer, and they play a, a very uh, engaged um, and energetic role in uh, together with allies, this is the thing, it's all about working with allies, working with uh, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the Emirates, the other GCC uh, countries, uh, working with our American allies, working with others um, in the combined maritime forces. There are more than 30 nations that come together to work uh, against piracy, uh, to maintain the freedom of navigation. And uh, it's a very important engagement for us. We have um, six or seven vessels permanently based uh, here in Bahrain, um, contributing to that, uh, that maritime security um, through the combined maritime forces, through the international maritime security construct, which we're currently leading. And, and that will continue because the, the world needs um, free, peaceful exchanges, um, free from piracy, free from disruption by, by state actors. Um, and so uh, that's the visible side and, and a very important side of our security cooperation. But of course, we work very closely with Bahrain on a range of other issues uh, like cybersecurity, uh, like counterterrorism, uh, and, and so on. Uh, so, but the Navy is the, uh, is the figurehead. Uh, they're out in front, as they, as they always like to be. Um, so uh, we're very pleased that the British community is, gro is growing. So we now have five to 7,000 uh, British nationals here. The number um, dropped a little during the pandemic. It seems to have come back up again. Um, and uh, again, that is a sign of uh, people choosing to um, develop the businesses here, to expand uh, company presences, um, and the, the fact that they, they know they receive a very warm welcome and lots of support from Bahrain. Bahrain is a very hospitable place and uh, the British community, uh, which is in, in so many different fields here across, across the board, across the economy, across society. Um, uh, indeed, 
Some have stayed here so long they've become Bahraini. Uh, they've become Bahraini nationals, but we still count them as Brits in, in, in a way. Um, so it's great to see. It's also great to see an expansion in student numbers. Uh, so we have about 1,500 Bahrainis um, studying in the UK. Yeah. We hope that the, the visa waiver uh, offer, which we um, started at the beginning of June, uh, makes it easier for Bahrainis um, to travel um, freely um, backwards and forwards to the UK. And that is only uh, to the good because it helps um, those educational exchanges, uh, those business exchanges, and just those people-to-people uh, contacts between Bahrainis and Britons, which uh, have been and remain so important. You are most welcome. Yeah.